What do you think about people who play out of tune and don't use the tuning slide? A lot of people think that they're tuned at the factory, and you're the guy who tunes them, huh? No, I don't tune them. <laughs> uh, I just built them. <laughs> Well, we're here with Jeff and Pete here at the Con Selmer factory in uh, East Lake, Ohio, where we're about to take a tour and see how they make these awesome instruments. All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the raw materials. That's the neatest thing about this plant is that everything is made here on site except for screws, corks, uh, springs, some miscellaneous screws. Everything you see on these horns is made here. Two drawing. So we'll take some of that raw stock, cut it to length. We'll draw two things for all kinds of assemblies. This is the time on hand side. Basically, what they do is they cut out bell shapes. You see those shapes hanging from that table over there? They'll cut out a bell shape, they'll pound it around the mandrel, notch it up, raise the seam. And then spin the bell. Bell spinning. You got a oh, trombone cool. down here. Oh yeah. So you get to see this. In this case, you got a spinning mandrel that's shaped with a bell. That's the metal furniture does the same thing. No more dressing. take the brass and hammer out the imperfection. Oh, I see. So they start out wrinkled. They start wrinkled. That's what they look like in their face. So when they're done, they look like that. That's beautiful work, man. <laughs> Corn bell vendor. Whoa. That's how it gets so curly. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> There's bell sections of bows that get sanded and buffed up. He's got a trombone bow right there, he's buffing up. As you can see, this is a very busy, busy area. My name's Perry and I'm a complex programmer. So I set up a program on the machine. Oh. My name is Computer Numeric Control. I make mouthpieces and other parts. They put the cow right here, and they turn this crank, and they juice the cows, and out comes the... We get a trumpet pistol. Oh. Oh, or, or they actually just make valves here. What is it you're doing? How long have you been working here? All together, 22 years. 22 years? All together, yep. Um, it's very rewarding to do something like this. Uh, Let's see what I 
what it's called? Fume Eater. We get that installed in our bus. Then after we go to Taco Bell, just, just plug this sucker in and it's like, it's like you never went to Taco Bell at all. Uh, Let's see if I can figure out how to put them together. It's like Lego. Can you put a French horn together? What's your name, man? Rick. Rick? Rick. Yeah. Cool, man. Right. You're doing good work, man. I, I love these slides. All right, thanks. Cool, appreciate it, man. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Oh my god, do you see what's about to happen to us? Yeah! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Valve, I expect you to die. <laughs> It's interesting, the trumpet players that play those things actually turn that color red also. <laughs> oh, it's a boy! Come on, push! 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 Oh, it's a little baby boy! Oh, the horn wet itself. <laughs> Alright, this man's actually fishing. He's actually fishing. Let's see what he's caught here. What'd you catch here today, sir? What do you got? What's in there? Oh, throw it back! <laughs> throw it back! <laughs> After they have cleaned, they come in here for final inspection. This is a very rare creature called a double bell euphonium. Whoa. You can see why. Play tested. Yeah. yeah. Justin here. You guys play everything. Cool.